Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to morning devotional broadcast from Mountaintop Ministries. I'm Pastor Ken Reed, and rise and shine. America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her with a light through the night from above, o'er the mountain, through the prairie. The ocean, light with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home. God can make it without America. Yes, he can. But America can't make it without God. On this 4th of July weekend, when we celebrate independence, when the 13 colonies broke away from England, established the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence and experience their freedom to govern, not to control, but to govern, that the people would have a voice in everything that happens instead of having a dictatorship. Makes one wonder today. But in spite of everything, we got a good country to live in on our way to a better country to live in. Just felt like uh, I watched... Franklin Graham, Reverend Franklin Graham, pleading with the nation to pray and ask God to intervene. See, the Bible says, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, I will hear from heaven. I heal their land. It's big time conditional. I believe the Christians are willing for that to happen. But the powers of the prince and the powers of be of the prince and power of the air and the God of this world, Satan, comes to rob and to kill and steal. It's working overtime in these days to create an atmosphere where people do not trust God, but fear losing their privileges and their licenses and their jobs and their health. And the Bible says that perfect love casteth out fear. Just feel like asking you today. I don't know what God's got in mind. Anybody that thinks they do. Pretty sharp spiritually if they do. I don't know why this is happening in America and Canada and around the world. But I know we're getting closer to the next world. 
and the next place where we're going to live. And so I want to say again, God could make it without America. But America cannot make it without God. And so right now I call on everybody in my listening audience just to bow for a moment of prayer as we head into this 4th of July weekend and pray for this beautiful country. The mountains, the lakes, the rivers, this beautiful world you've created for us, God. We repent that we have taken it so lightly and that we have abused it so. We thank you for our freedoms. Most of all, I thank you for the freedom of salvation, the freedom of experiencing the chain breaker and having sin done away in our lives by the blood of Jesus Christ, your one and only son. I thank you, Father, for that. And I pray that you will have your perfect will accomplished. And I know you will here in this country. And if there's anything we can do by way of prayer or intercession, we stand in that gap and pray. I don't necessarily pray for everything to be changed. I pray that people will be changed, God. I pray that through this very distraught, perplexing time, perilous time, that you will continue to save people and reach people, help them to be drawn to you. Help us to realize that all of our securities and our freedoms come from you, God, through Jesus, your son. So I pray for America today. I pray for those who stand in the gap to protect America. I pray for our leadership in Washington, D.C. Your word tells us to pray for those that are in leadership. I pray for our churches in this nation that they'll fall on their knees and call on Almighty God. Bless the spiritual leaders in this nation. I thank you that you're trustworthy. I thank you that you're not sitting in heaven wringing your hands. You know exactly what's going on. So today I want to pray, Lord, for the terrible plague of sickness and cancer that is spreading all over the land as well. Many people that I know today need prayer. I curse that in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to it and say, be gone, be out of those lives. I think of my friends that are listening to this broadcast this morning that are struggling with health issues because of the dreaded C word. I say, cancer, you are no match for my Jesus, who is the almighty healer. Be gone out of these people's lives in Jesus' name. Now, Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for protecting my friends from this virus that has plagued the nation. I thank you that we have a hedge about us, and all of God's people do. I pray that you'd help my faith to continue to be strong on that and believe you, Lord, for continued victory. For those that are a part of my spiritual family, that we will not succumb to this virus, but be healed and walk in healing and enjoy our freedom in Jesus' name. I love you, Father. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Spirit. Amen. From the mountain to the valley to the ocean Wide with foam, God bless America, my home, home. God bless America, my home.
Happy Pappy signing off. Have a great 4th of July weekend. God bless you. And uh, keep in touch with us. Love to hear from you. Thank you for everybody who gets on there every day and just writes a little note and says, hey, we listened to you today. You blessed us. It means a lot. It really does. We'll be there for each other, but most of all, he'll be there for us. And remember, God couldn't make it without America. America cannot make it without God. But we have God. And we turn to him today. See you later on Rise and Shine.